get laid as many times as I can. Starting with the Christian <laughs> I'm cashing in my gold, buying staff and Eleanor, and going on an orc killing spree. All right out there. Those kids are up to something. World's ending tonight. Is that my toothbrush? I don't know. Why's the world ending then? Some nutpost reckons he's worked it out from the Bible. I only got one day left. Man, I'm never gonna tap Haley Barrett. You're certainly starting to look that way, mate. Why are you using my toothbrush? All right, princess. Didn't they needed your own special brush? Is the world really ending tonight, Flynn? Don't ask me, mate. I've got a shaky relationship with mortality as it is. Look, it's just a cheap publicity stunt by some second-rate Nostradamus. Well, if the world really is ending, I'm not spending my last day surrounded by you, sad bastard. All cameras to flagpole for an important message. Uh, but not uh, life or death important, just uh, relevant. Hi. Uh, look, I'm, I'm really sorry about, uh, you know, if I had anything to do with you and Mac. It's fine, honestly. Good, because I wasn't sure if you were OK. I am. It's only you're hiding behind a tree. Hey, guys, have you seen Come here. I just thought I heard Mac. Ooh. Well, I think the coast is clear. Hey. Hey. What are you talking to a tree? I thought I saw a squirrel. Do you not get them in England? No. Oh, well, you must be scared they're quite tame. Cheers. You haven't seen Rachel, have you? No, I haven't seen her. No, I think she's still pretty cut up about what happened. Yet remains strong-willed and fiercely independent. I just... I don't know, I wish she... Wouldn't keep running away from me. Running away from you? Oh my God, Rachel, how long have you been there? Just to clarify, Mac, when a girl's husband announces that he's gay, it's quite acceptable for her to take a few days to reflect on the situation. Yeah, but it was nothing you did, Rachel. I never said that it was, though clearly you think that. Maybe I repulsed you into being gay. Hey, Rab, do you think Mac was gay when we met? That's a contentious issue. Uh, some people believe. Rach, I'm, I'm as confused about this as anybody, probably more. But all I do know is that at the moment this is about me and it has nothing to do. I'm so sorry. Mm. Good morning, campers. Let me just uh, start off by saying the world is ending in what? approximately uh, a billion years. Now, this is just like any other day, so there will be no bucket list nonsense or living life like there's no tomorrow. Uh, because there is a tomorrow, and it will be a most unpleasant day for any rule breakers. Am I clear? Nothing has changed. Which is why tonight, as planned, it's going to be movie night. A chance to forget about the apocalypse and escape into the magical world of cinema. We meet at the amphitheater for a night that promises to be just like any other. Rachel! Good news. I have been given the honor of organizing movie night, and so naturally I will be delegating many of my responsibilities to you. I have a lot of work to do. Oh, that's the spirit. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need tickets, popcorn, balloons, bunting, hot dogs, nachos. You know what? It's just gonna be easier if I just email it to you. Sent. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> So, it's our last day on Earth together. What do you do? That's easy, I'd have a threesome. <laughs> really, Barry? Oh, don't worry, with you. And someone else, obviously. Have anyone in mind? Oh. Um, oh, um, this is one of those traps, isn't it? Wow, you're learning. Mm -hmm. So what about you, what would you do? If it was the last day on Earth, I'd Spend it with my family and friends, talk about all the good times we shared, let everyone that I cared about know that I love them. Wow. 
Sounds really nice. I suppose they might still be time for that after the threesome. <laughs> How about this for Mac? Brokeback Mountain. Oh, don't be cruel. What? He grew up on a farm. Fine. Milk? He won an Oscar. Nothing that's going to upset anyone. Well, if we aren't doing anything to upset anyone, then why were you hanging out with Rachel this morning? I wasn't hanging out with Rachel. Just happened to bump into her. Over a... it. Let's have sex now. What? Unless you aren't attracted to me anymore. Well, of course I am. Hey, Rab, I'm hot. I'm here. And I am easily suggestible. It's the Holy Trinity. Can we, like, meet somewhere later? You know, somewhere the boss might not find us. Promise? Because if you don't give me any, then I'm here. There are four burly horsemen on their way who are up for it. Right. Four horsemen of the Akakalax. OK, please, please, please stop. Please stop. Yeah. Perfect. I'll go and give it to Rachel. Um, I'll take it, if you like. Oh, no, that's OK. I'm sure you've got better things to be doing. Yeah, good. There you are. I need to go over a few things for tonight. Uh, now, I want popcorn, hot dogs, nachos, sure. a whole nine yards. Done, done, and done. So I bumped into Arab this morning. Oh, God. What? You're going back on to Arab. No, I definitely am not. Rach, you are just another soldier in the war on dating, so you trod on a gay landmine. It could happen to anyone. You've got to get back out there. Try straight available men, and your self-esteem will rock it. You were wasted as a lifeguard. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> OK, I got to go. Hope has given me all her work to do. What a bitch. You should totally screw a boyfriend. <laughs> She's still cut up about Mac. Yeah. Uh, the poor bastard's been beating himself up about it all week. He broke her heart. What, you don't think two people can come back from a breakup? He's gay, Jake. Right, but maybe I'm not talking about that. So, where it is, Barry wants a threesome. Wish I'd seen your face when you put that forward. <laughs> That's the one. Hope you let him down gently. Who says I let him down at all? Hmm, Kimberly, getting curious? You know, I'm searching for even the smallest part of this situation. That's any of your business. <laughs> Hi. That's, uh, the world is ending, you know. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? I don't know. No. Oh, thanks. It will really affect you. Uh huh. Wow. Why are we even doing this? The world is ending. The world is not ending. Oh, ah! It's happening! I told you it was happening! Lord of the Rings! He can't breathe! You can have first dibs on mouth to mouth. I'll save him. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> hey. So, uh, what do you recommend? Meatloaf. Looks good. Yeah. If he lost a bit of weight and cut his hair, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he might. You look really pretty today, Rachel. Don't you think so, Arab? Uh, well, well, yes. But, I mean, I think everyone looks good, you know? I mean, you look good, Thurston. And I can say that, because friends can say that to each other, you know, even if they have a girlfriend. Or they're getting over a marriage. I'm going to go sit down now. Hey. Hey. No point working if we're all going to be dead tomorrow. I see a gun, but I'll be complete bollocks. Oh, you never know. Might be the last night for us to have some fun together. Pam, stop. I can't. I'm sorry. There's a girl. There's always a girl. This one's special. I think I might love her as it happens. <laughs> you don't fall in love. Imagine my surprise. I'm sorry, Pam. PJ, it wasn't what it looked like. Really? Because it looked like she was being a complete whore. She was just trying to engage in some innocent flirtation, which I gently rebuffed. My mother doesn't do innocent flirtation. She does aggressive seduction, and you're in her sights. I've already told her I'm not interested, so what's the problem? Let's just get it all out in the open, OK? No more secrets. PJ, this isn't your mother's birthday party, and I'm not your arsehole date. Nothing's going to happen with her. It's just you and me, OK? OK. What the hell was that about? 
What? You look really pretty today, Rachel. I saw you kissing her just before lunch. Well, you may think that's what you saw. No, that's definitely what I saw. It's okay, I won't tell. But I think you should get with Rachel. She's really nice and kind, and you loved her all last summer. With no sense. I know you like Hope, too. But the idea of letting Rachel slip through your fingers when she's suddenly available, and there's only one week of summer left. I thought you liked Hope. Hey, you! Nothing. What? I mean, hi. How are you? I'm having the day from hell. I have no time for lunch. I'm gonna eat Aldesco. <laughs> but I should be all done in time for our little trip later. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. See you at three. See you at three. Three o'clock. I've been thinking about that thing you were talking about earlier. Oh, I'd have survived Jurassic Park. The other thing. How oh, Cocoa Pops taste different over here? The threesome, very. Oh, right. Oh, right. I suppose I could be persuaded. Really? If you can find a suitable third member and the place we can be alone, then I'm in. Oh, my God. Is this really happening? It's really happening. forward to movie night? The highlight of my social calendar. I saw you talking to Flynn earlier. I would have stepped in and stopped you, but seeing you embarrass yourself actually passes for entertainment around here. Mom, Flynn's my boyfriend. Just wanted to let you know in case you were planning on making any more gross or totally inappropriate moves on him, PJ. Well, this is a nice surprise, my two girls getting along. What's the gossip? Uh, I was just dropping by to let Mom know that um, Flynn and I are an item. You and Spencer? We're all a little busy here today. Why don't we discuss this another time? Bobby, no. Pamela, get my 45. Please, just let me try and deal with this. If you come down hard on her now, she'll dig her heels in. You know she will. Kimberly said yes to a threesome. Yep. <laughs> what? It's a trap. Well, if it is, it's a very sexy one. Mate, here's how it goes. You ask her for a threesome, she says yes. You turn up, the third person's a bloke. So you either have to admit you're a twat or, hmm, watch your girlfriend have sex with him, I suppose. Uh, don't be ridiculous. She wouldn't ruin our threesome by inviting another bloke. She already ruined it by inviting you. <laughs> anyway, you're wrong, because she's asked me to find a third person. Yeah. So uh, all you have to do is find another girl in this camp who's willing to have sex with you. Yep. Hmm. She's smarter than I thought. <laughs> no. Hey. Hey. Uh, look, about earlier the kiss thing it was wrong. Oh, God, yeah. I, I totally agree. I, we probably should just forget it ever happened. Absolutely. Because you are with hope. And you're on the rebound. Yeah. But I, I do think it'd be good to talk. I mean, not about us, but about, I don't, I don't know, everything that's happening with you, maybe? What, you mean with Matt and everything? Yeah, yeah. A friendly chat as friendly friends. No, I don't... I don't really think your girlfriend would be too happy with me talking to you. Hey, I can talk to whoever I want. Mm. But let's meet somewhere quiet. Barry Shed, I have some time at three. I will see you later then. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you. Later. Hello. Hey. Hey. It's okay. No, I tell my parents about us. What? You should have seen your faces. Why the hell would you do that? Flynn, why the hell would I do that? <sighs> uh, because my mom wants to fuck you. Didn't you think I'm asking me first? I did not know they had to run everything by you nowadays. Yeah, I just mean it's going to cause problems. <sighs> it wasn't working out before. Oh, are you scared of my dad? Promise <laughs> you still love me when he cuts my nuts off. I did not say that I loved you in the first place. Hey, look, I'm really sorry, but I'm not going to be able to meet you later. I mean, if I could make it, I would, but something happened earlier. Did soccer practice get rescheduled again? Yeah, it did. No. I have to tell you 
I am having me the worst and... day, honey. All these bedwitters keep coming and telling me that they're scared the world is going to end, and you know how I get about negative energy. I mean, it's actually amazing I can function as a guidance counselor at all. Yeah. And the only but... thing that is getting me through today is seeing you later. Bye. Are you okay? I'm fine. I, I'm just double booked. Said I'd see Hope later, but now I've arranged football practice. And I don't know if football practice is a good idea. Actually, I'm pretty sure it isn't. Only thing is, I want to practice football, Thurston. You know, there's like a week left. You know, I really, really don't want to let football practice slip through my fingers again. Maybe I can help. There are only a few things I've ever loved, Spencer. My daughter, because she's the apple of my eye. My wife, because she's the girl of my dreams. And my country, because it has an outrageously lax attitude to gun control. Can you see where I'm going with this? Well, the golf buggy would at least make your top three. You have two options. You can just end it with her, or you can continue seeing her, and I'll tell her how you were sticking it to her mother all last summer. You're breaking her hearts. Really? Look at you. You got one less arm than last year. Maybe next time it'll be a leg, or the ability to feed yourself, or rip your own ass. A little heartbreak is nothing compared to what you're serving up. End it! Today. Understand it's linked to the eyes, spit faster than the blink of an eye. Got swag man on the brink of their lives, down in the flow of Barry, I need to use the shed. What for? Me and... Hope, need a place to, uh, you know. You want to use my shagging cabin? Yeah. Uh, I'm afraid it's in constant use all afternoon. A threesome must take priority. As your mum always says. Nice. But why would a pretend threesome take priority? Because there's more of us for a star. Two girls, four boobs. You do the sexy math. I will give you a million pounds if it actually happens. Great. I'll spend it all on condoms. Do I need to remind you that you owe me one? Oh, no, you can't do that. I'm doing it. No, 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 you only get to play the ankle tag card once. It's on the table. Ankle tag beats four boobs. Everyone knows that. Breaking my heart. And yet I feel nothing. I would have done a lot for that trump card. I hope the sex is worth a sacrifice. OK, great, guys. Put your back into it. Come on. One, two, three. Up and down. Cleanse. When it rains, it pours. Can't stop the rain. Blood, I ain't twister. I'm a hurricane. Gonna blow in the game. R-E-A-I-N. Make sure you know the name. See other man go slow in the lane, but I swear you up my speed, bruh. Trap with a page of murder, murder. Any man want more, I'll serve you further. Wanna spit hot, I'll learn you, learn you. Wanna grab my mic, I'll third degree burn you. Ah, Thurston, I knew sooner or later you'd be knocking on my door. I, I don't want any trouble. Well, what do you want, Thurston? Guidance. Organising right. a threesome is harder than the internet would have you believe. What happened? Well, firstly, I couldn't find a third person. A threesome? No fucking way. I'm going to pretend you just didn't ask me that, Barry. Secondly, I don't have a location because five weeks ago I got Arab arrested and now he won't let me have sex. Couldn't organise a hand job in a wank factory. Well, uh, you know, I might have an idea if you're still interested. Hi. Hi. So, how are you? I'm fine. We kissed this morning. Yeah. I'm sorry about no, that. No, I'm sorry. You know, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just didn't want you to think I was trying on with you or anything. No, of course not. I mean, I know that you care about hope. Yeah, I mean, of course I do. You know, I, I just wouldn't want to be that guy. No, you're not that guy. You're, you're sweet and... You're kind. I don't know if I am. I mean, if I was, I wouldn't. What?
we should. And then, when I was six, my school teacher stole my candy bar because she said I hadn't had my dessert. And you mustn't eat dessert before mains. Like, what kind of rule is that? And now I'm really scared that the world's going to end and I'll never get to see my mom again. To be honest, if the world ended, it'd probably be the best thing for you. Why? I'm not gonna sugarcoat the truth because, let's be honest, you'd probably try and eat it. You're young, overweight, and gay. Your life is gonna be miserable up until your early 20s. When you work out, you can be everyone's big fat camp friend. You know, the one that's loads of fun but is secretly depressed because all the men you like aren't attracted to you? You'll disappear for a few years and when you come back, you'll have a washboard stomach and an addiction to prescription steroids that's given you the body you always craved, but also left you narcissistic, tedious, and prone to violent mood swings. You'll eventually realize that you miss the old you, but by then, all your friends will have left you and all the men you're with will only want you for your abs. You'll be so dependent on the roids and the one night stands that, well, there's no going back. They'll find your corpse when the smell gets too much for the neighbors in the single department complex you've ended up in, sad and alone. So, if the world does end tonight, at least you'll be spared all that. I hope this has been of some comfort to you. Sort of person that does this. <laughs> no, I mean you're only just married. Uh. Are you seen Ara? I thought you were supposed to be in my shed. No. No. No, because that was Lynn and PJ. Yeah. I always get you guys mixed up, probably because you all look so similar. Oh wait. We tried the other side of the camp. That way. Way, way over there. No. Attention, campers. Just a reminder that the world is not ending. Remember, the world is not ending today. Rachel, who gave you sex hair? Nobody, I just have really horrible hair. You have gorgeous hair. It is thick and shiny and full of life and somebody has been messing with it. Oh, be quiet. Did you make up with Mac? <gasps> Rachel had makeup sex with Mac. He's gay. Yeah, but you are hot. You know, just because you are disgustingly loved up doesn't mean that everybody else is. I am not disgustingly loved up. Please. The serial commitment phobe who hooks up and denies that she's falling in love. That is like every Ryan Reynolds movie ever. She's right, you know, you're totally screwed. Ah. And you, you need to give Mac a break. Jake says he's really upset about everything. Oh, well, since when are we having heart to hearts with Jake? Yeah, since when are we having heart to hearts with Jake, Kimberly? I liked it when we were talking about the sex era. Hmm. Okay, that is my cue to leave. Bye. Bye. I do not love Flynn. Sure. Showering in the middle of the afternoon. You dirty bastard. Do you ever actually do your jobs? How was it then? The shagging. Mind your own business. I need to rearrange a threesome at great inconvenience for this. The least you could do is tell me. Hope and enjoy yourself. That's all right. We know she wasn't there. Body bump enter. What did you tell her? Uh, don't worry. I covered for you. I spun her an intricate web of lies, a complicated maze of intrigue and enigma. Your secret's perfectly safe. Fuck. So, who were you with? Rachel. 
Jesus, you don't like an easy life, do you? Hang on. I'm the only one who hasn't had sex with Rachel. I wonder what her policy on threesomes is. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Barry. What's wrong with you? Bobby knows about me and PG. And he's threatening to tell her about you and Pam. If I don't split up with her. So what are you going to do? Split up with her. You can't let the summer camp Nazi push you around. He's right, though, isn't he? This way is best for everyone. <laughs> best for you, you mean? Get to avoid a fight like always. Hey, so I hear the threesome's on then, huh? <laughs> Is this why I went wrong? What do you mean? I guess if you'd asked me when we were still together what I'd like to do if it was the last night on Earth, I would have said something stupid. Yeah, about how it'd be just you and me, and a couple of candles, maybe a bottle of something we both liked, being together, knowing that we were two of the luckiest people in the world for having found happiness. But I guess what I should have said is that I'd like to have nasty group sex. <laughs> Live and learn. You didn't say a whole lot of anything when we were together. Yeah, well, different man now, Kim. Concentrate. Concentrate. Okay, throw the ball. Oh, 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 oh. Hi. You gonna play? I should warn you, I had a trial for the Lakers. Oh, you got your serious face on. I sent something dramatic. I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> because I lied about the basketball. I'm serious, PG. This is for real. Yeah, it's the right thing to do. <laughs> How is this the right thing to do? I thought we were good. It's what we do, we fuck around. Neither of us wants to settle down. <laughs> is this because I told my parents? No, I've been thinking about it for a while and... <sighs> I'm sorry, but it's not going anywhere. Christ, <laughs> I... I had to break down some really well-built emotional barriers to make this relationship work. Why, though? Don't you think you were happy before? Well, yeah, no, I do now. <laughs> Was this your plan all along, to make me fall, feel something for you, and then to fuck off? The summer's almost over. And this was the best way that you could think of ending things? I'm gonna rip the plaster off, sort of, man. Nice and quick, no pain. Good job. Fucking asshole. Hi. I tried to get away, but I got waylaid. <laughs> that, that's, that's okay. Mm. Come on. We're going for a drive. your advice. I'm supposed to be at a threesome right now, but Flynn just split up with PJ, so probably shouldn't be on his own. Now, he really needs a friend, but Kimberly's expecting me, and although this has never come up before, I've got a feeling you're not supposed to stand up your girlfriend when she's organised a group sex event. Jesus, what is it with everybody? All I'm hearing is, why will my boyfriend commit, Mac? Did these shoes make my calves look fat, Mac? I mean, what am I, an agony ant? No, dude. You're everyone's new gay best friend. Well, I don't want to be everybody's new gay best friend. I totally understand. Only I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Okay, but this is the last time we do this. Agree. Even if Kimberly really is throwing you a threesome, which I doubt, then you still gotta put your friends first. Tell her you're sorry and explain that Flynn really needs you right now and she'll understand. Best gay best friend ever. Okay. Buckle up. This is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't approve of you smoking that. I found it in your drawer, Mom. Then I don't approve of you stealing that. Good news, by the way. Flynn is single. You should totally go for it. What happened? broke up with me, obviously. 
ladies. Ah, this is nice. The woman that raised me and my mother all together in one place. Hmm. Tender sentiment, indeed. <laughs> PJ just broke up with her boyfriend. Who's the schmuck? Ah, uh, Flynn. Apparently it's not going anywhere. I guess he just looked at his life and thought, I don't have anything to offer her. What do you mean? He's only got a few good months left, and then everything you like about him is going to disappear. He's just being noble. You know what? I, I, I got to go. No, that's not what I was getting at. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Turning points about that way. No, the point's boring. Up here is way more fun. What's what's up here? Luffy. I can't believe it. You're single and I'm not. I'm a little bit heartbroken here, mate. Sorry. Here's something that'll cheer you up. If you swap the letters around in this place, you get fever balls. <laughs> Fever balls. Haven't you got a pretend threesome to begin to? No, no, I'm all right. Yeah, threesomes come and go, but friends are forever. I think you might have got that the wrong way around. I mean, you know, what, what would I do with two girls? I hardly know what to do with one. And really, if it was the end of the world, all I'd want is to be with her. The only thing is, mate, the world really is ending for you. You don't know what I'd do to change that. I can't, and... Well, there it is. You know, if you lose PJ now, then that's it for you guys. There's no second chance here. You're stoned, aren't you? <laughs> Incredibly. <laughs> <laughs> Dining alone. Can I help you? I was passing by. I didn't hear the sounds of a wild orgy, so yeah, got concerned. Incredibly sweet of you. Barry has no idea how lucky he is. <laughs> he knows. You think? He thought that he was going to be the filling, a girl on girl sandwich, but instead, he hijacked his sex fantasy, this sneaky, underhanded, tastefully put together romantic evening. That sort of shit can throw a guy, Kim. I mean, maybe that's why he's a no-show. He's not a no-show. He's only. Incredibly late. <laughs> anyway, when he gets here and he sees it's just me, he'll be relieved. We're getting around. It's what we do. We're a, a fun couple. Does Barry know that you're a fun couple? Because I believe he thinks you're serious about him. Oh, don't twist my words. You know I'm serious about him. Like that time that you got me to pretend to be your boyfriend for your dad. But that was different. Right. Because that was real life and this is Beaver Falls. You know, where you two can thrive. It's the kooky couple that nobody saw coming. I'll leave you and the sex all to work out what you're gonna do in a week when you have to break up with him. Who says I'm breaking up with him? It is a summer fling for you, but for him, you're as happily ever after. I don't know, I feel for the guy. I know what it means to lose you. I miss you, Kim. Can you say that you don't miss me? Uh, seriously, where are we going? Tell me, e rap Do you want me to be happy? Of course. Would you ever do anything to hurt me? Would you ever do anything to hurt me? No. So you wouldn't cheat on me? That simply means you have 60 seconds to get back in your curfew zone before you are arrested and deported. Jesus, Hope, just stop the car. Did you fuck Rachel? No. Liar! All right, all right, okay, all right, I did, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Tell me she needs nothing here. I, I can't go to jail. So convince me. Popcorn, anybody? Phone um, call. Oh, yeah. There you go. Hope. Hope, hope, hope. Hi, yeah. You're supposed to be helping me. Rachel means nothing to me. 
I swear to God. Look, it was the worst sex ever. It was like humping a pillow. I mean, there wasn't Max Gay. I mean, what was I thinking? Actually, I know what I was thinking. I was thinking of you the whole time. Yeah. I mean, I, I regret it. I regret it so much because I don't even care about her. I don't care about Rachel. Please, stop. Got 30 seconds. That's the block. Mac can have my rainbow bracelet. My mommy can. <laughs> Sorry. What do you got there, kid? It's my will in case we all die tonight. Oh wait, no. Listen, kiddo. I, I figure you got to hear this from a responsible adult, and uh, well, in the absence of any suitable candidates, I guess I'll have to do. But the world is not ending tonight. You're fine. No, I'm not. Who says if the world doesn't end, then I'll be a sad, fat gay man and get addicted to steroids? and die alone in a singles apartment complex. Wait, no, no, listen, Thurston, your life is not predetermined. Nobody makes those choices but you, and you know a lot more than I did when I was your age, and you're gonna be fine, trust me. Grab your hot dogs and take a seat. Movie night is about to begin. The Super Bowl of gay best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Rachel. I'm so glad I found you. You're never gonna believe what just happened. Was it terrible? Was whatever happened the worst occurrence of that particular act you've ever had? Now listen, hope is crazy. Yeah, I think I've mentioned it once or twice. Yeah, well, I should have listened to you. It's so good to see you. So, out of curiosity, who was the third person? So, what's the number of steroids I could take to lose weight, but not go crazy? None. The number you can take is none. Oh, I see. What's wrong? She meant nothing to me. It was the worst sex I ever had. Ring any bells? Oh, shit. Like humping a pillow. Rachel. I heard every word. I mean, if I'd known that you were with Flynn, then I guess I would have never have ended up Eating alone, but it's fine. We look out for our friends. We're a fun couple. We're a fun couple. No, no, you have to understand. I was under duress by a mad woman. I didn't mean anything. Whatever, Aram. You know what? Just so you know, it didn't rock my world either. In fact, you're pretty shit in bed yourself. <laughs> I follow her, you moron. Yeah, follow her, you bad in bed asshole. Right. But not about the bad in bed thing, obviously. <laughs> hey, Aram. Hey, where's it going? If the other one needs you, you'd better go. So, I uh, figured out why you made a huge mistake and dumped me. You think you're being chivalrous. It's the way it has to be. Sometimes when you speak, it sounds like you're reading out of a teenage girl's diary. You do know I'm dying, don't you? <laughs> Horribly, slowly, painfully. It's got to count for something. Ah. Uh... No, no, you used the death door card way too many times. Shit, so what now? Campers, welcome to movie night. You'll notice from the lack of flaming rivers of lava that we have not witnessed the apocalypse. It has been just another day at Beaver Falls. So uh, without much further ado, uh, let the show begin. Survivors of volcanic eruptions, deadly earthquakes, and vicious tsunamis. A peaceful planet until... Hope went mental. She tried to get me deported. Everything Rachel said was true. Yeah, right. It won't be all right. I properly fucked it up this time. I think I might actually lose her for good. Right, well, we'll better chase after her then. We've had enough practice. I'm not going to 
put you through what's coming. I can take it. I know you can, but you're not going to. I love you, okay? And I'm doing the right thing and letting you go. Oh, Hannah Montana, stop it already. <laughs> What happens if Rachel's not in there, but Hope is, and she tries to attack you, and I get caught in the crossfire? Risk I'm willing to take, Barry. 30 seconds till midnight, losers! Woo! 30 in the world! You guys, it's almost time. If we give in to our primal fears, we're no better than animals! If you'd just let me have my threesome, none of this would be happening. Shut up, Barry. I want to stay with you, Spencer. Maybe not until the end of my lifetime, but I'm pretty sure I can manage till the end of yours. Technically not much of a commitment. Hey, it's a massive fucking commitment. It's not one to make lightly. So what do we do? Go home in a week. Dad, you're counting! Cease this doomsday! Tremor, the world is not ending! Marry me. For the green guard? Yeah. And because, you know, you love me. And I love you. No fucking way. So? Yes. Yeah? yeah. to me again. I don't know if that's your biggest problem right now. What do you mean? Looks like Hope's gone off the reservation. Don't ruin it for her. I'm not gonna ruin it, I'm just gonna kill him. You're not the only one with secrets, Bobby. You wouldn't want her to find out the truth about you. Hey. Hi. You okay? I can't wait to fall asleep. I slept with her app. Eyes are heavy, breath is deep. Oh, he's definitely not gay. In the street. Leave the world. I missed you. I missed you too. I do hope that one day I can be an incredibly awkward and most definitely drunk guest at your civil ceremony slash wedding, depending. <laughs> well, I hope that one day I will be able to bring my boyfriend to your second marriage and make your grandparents feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> Is it like a